As we mentioned, health news tonight is encouraging news on one of the big mysteries in medicine, MS, multiple sclerosis. Doctors don't know what causes it, but tonight some promising research shows a new drug may play an important role in managing the disease that often hits women during the prime years of their lives, including the wife of presidential candidate Mitt Romney. Our report tonight from our chief science correspondent, Robert Bazell. Ann Romney is one of about 400,000 Americans living with multiple sclerosis. What a welcome! So is Lori Osco, who is among the 1,400 volunteers in the study out today, showing that a new pill called BG12 is easy to take and highly effective. It's just been wonderful. It's just been a whole different um, aspect of dealing with MS. In MS, the immune system that usually fights disease attacks nerve cells in the brain and spinal cord, leaving areas of scar tissue that show up as white areas on an MRI brain scan. Often it strikes women in their 20s, 30s, and 40s, and men in later years. MS can affect vision, movement, strength, sensation, bowel, bladder, sexual function, mood, cognition. Everything the brain does can be impaired from MS. BG12 is not a cure. We really don't know what sets this off. Like the nine other drugs already on the market, it reduces the number of nerve cell attacks called flare-ups, but more so than most others, and with fewer side effects. It's a truly frightening disease. It is. It is expected to cost the same as the others, about $50,000 a year. The most effective drug is called Tysabri, but it's an infusion that has to be given once a month and it carries the risk of serious side effects, including brain infection. Marjorie Hines plans to switch if BG12 wins FDA approval, expected in a few months. Because of the risk of the brain infection and um, because of convenience. This takes three hours every month, and, you know, you're sitting in a chair. Experts welcome the new medication. Clearly, it's a big step in the right direction. But they emphasize it is not the cure that everyone wants. Robert Bazell, NBC News, Cleveland.